Hello. I wanted to do the reflect on what he did for me and and show that through a piece of artwork. So I just wanted to uh, show you guys what I'm doing and I would encourage you to come along. Uh, you're just going to need a box uh, that's been cut up into any size that you want. You could do a big one or a small one. I'm, I'm doing a pretty big one because I want to show the whole kind of a some of the whole week of events. Uh, you're also going to need a pencil to sketch. I'm going to actually use a sharpie so that you could see, but um, you just really need a pencil. Uh, then you also are eventually going to need some glue. You could either do glue because we're going to be outlining it in glue, or you could use a hot glue gun depending on your skill level and how old you are. Uh, so you may need those things. And then eventually you're going to need a Q-tip if you're going to do the tin foil. Uh, and then you're going to need some Sharpies if you're going to do the tin foil. I decided I'm going to paint mine, but I want to show you some options because I think there's a lot of possibilities in this project. So the first thing I did is I thought, you know, how can I show uh, how I feel and how I'm walking through um, this week? And the first thing I thought of is just being poured out because Jesus poured himself out. And this week, it's just been a week of me searching my heart and figuring out how I could bless other people and bless my family and, and take time for myself and just honor the Lord with my time. So I'm going to draw a vessel. Because I thought about the old, in the old biblical times, they probably had these, these jars that held everything. So the first thing I'm gonna draw is just a vessel. And of course, the liquid is gonna be poured out. So I'm gonna draw like kind of a flowing, make it go all over like this. Okay. A couple days before Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey, he was having dinner and a lady came, her name was Mary, and not his mom, and uh, she had a, a box, an alabaster box they called it, and it was filled with ointment or a perfume, and um, she broke it and dumped it, you know, on his head, and, and the disciples and other people were like, wow, we probably could have sold that and, and given that away, the money that was earned from that to the poor. And, and um, it was basically everything she had, her whole, her whole year savings. It was very expensive. And Jesus said, ah, don't get upset with her. She is actually doing, you know, the will of the Father. And she's anointing me for my burial. They didn't realize what had taken place, even though he was trying to prepare him for that. So that could also be that. But in that time, uh, Jesus then rode into Jerusalem. He sent his disciples ahead and said, hey, there's a, gonna be a donkey. Untie the donkey and if the man asks, what need do you have? He just said, the Lord is in need of it. And so they found it and it happened just like Jesus said. Um, so Jesus got on the donkey and all the people of Jerusalem put palm branches. That's where we get the story of Palm Sunday. It's right from the Bible, okay? And so we're gonna put palm branches. We are gonna do this with glue, so it's kind of a sketch. Um, I also added a cross in my original design that I did. So it's just a season of reflecting of what, you know, Jesus laid down, and he laid down his whole life, ultimately. But really, what could I lay down? What, what in my life should I consider not having to be stubborn about or prideful about? You know? Could I be more gracious? Could I be, um, you know, do I always have to be right? You know, what, what is it? Do I always have to demand my own way or, or have my own time? Or maybe I should just not talk as much or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> that would that'd be hard. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so ultimately, Jesus was heading for the cross, and he did that because he loved us so much, and he did not want to be separated from us, right? So uh, Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and they, uh, the disciples went ahead and prepared the upper room for him, where they were going to have the Passover feast, which kind of points back in his remembrance to when the, uh, the Israelites were led out of Egypt, and God said, you know, kill a lamb, and take the blood, and put it over the doorposts, 
and I, I will pass over and um, uh, and protect you. And and he did that, and they it was a miracle, really. And so anyway, so they had the Passover feast, and Jesus you know, really encouraged his disciples in that season, uh, in that time, because he knew what they were going to face, and he, he knew that some of them would be scattered. You know, sometimes when things get hard, we don't always turn to God. Sometimes we turn to ourselves or our fears. And and uh, my son actually called today and had a, has a big question on his heart. And he goes, Mom, I don't know. Should I pray? <laughs> yes, son, pray. You know, I don't always do that. And maybe you do. And that's awesome. But it's good to pray. It's good to pray and seek God. Um, and Jesus had to do that. Eventually, he took some disciples and he went to the Garden of Gethsemane where he knelt and he said, please stay with me and pray. And even Jesus needed friends. And so it was at nighttime and it was in the garden. And so I'm going to just indicate that by a moon. Um, actually, this week we're going to see a super moon uh, on the 7th, which is actually the day I'm filming this, which would be super cool. It's when the, the moon comes super close to the earth and it just looks like a big giant moon. So in this time, uh, you know, he, he went and just prayed to the Father and said, help me through this. I'm you struggling, you know. He went to the cross for us, but still it was an unknown and uncertainty. Jesus uh, didn't know what that was like. You know, he had never faced that before. And sometimes we don't know what we're facing, and we can always turn to the Father for encouragement and just to, for him to build up ourselves, right? Well, one of the disciples, Judas, had to, to betray Jesus, and they arrested him in, in the garden, and they took him to, to Cephas, and there he uh, then went to Pilate, and he was beaten and, you know, wounded for our transgressions, it says, which basically means he, he took on uh, a lot of hard things for us. One of the things they did was they built a thorny cross, um, and they put it onto him because they were kind of making fun of him. And um, and they pushed it on and they dressed him in a purple robe and, and they, they hit him. And they were just very, very unkind. And, um, you know, Jesus was just silent. And he just trusted in his father to bring him through such a hard time, a very hard time. So uh, eventually... He was crucified, um, and there was one guy that was crucified be beside him, and then there was another one. There were two criminals that were crucified, and he asked them while he was hanging there, would you like to be with me forever, with my father? And this guy said, nope, I don't, I don't want you. I, I don't want to be by you. And it was a gift. And he said, I don't want your gift. I don't want the gift of having you in my life. And he rejected Jesus. And, and sometimes people do that. And we can pray for them and ask that God come into their heart and make himself known to them. Open their eyes to see and open their hearts to receive him. And then there was the other criminal that said, oh, I would love that. I'd love to spend the rest of eternity with you. And so he did. He got to go when Jesus died. When he was, when he finally died, um, they, the whole earth turned black. It was sad it for about three hours from 12 o'clock. It said to three, it just turned dark. And they took his body off the cross and they put it in a tomb. So we're gonna draw like a stone. It was like a round stone. The way that they did it, they actually put him in like a cave. Um, and then, so there's a, an opening in the cave. So this is just to show that the stone was rolled away and they put him in there and then they closed it back up. And he was in there for three days. And then he came out, he was resurrected. And so we're gonna just show that. We're gonna show the resurrection with these big beams of light coming out and streaming from this area. And like that, okay? I did forget to put on my picture um, that he took communion in the upper room. So I'm gonna draw a piece of bread, that's supposed to be bread, 
and I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Now this again is going to be covered in um, glue, either hot glue or regular glue, or you could just outline it and color it in. It's however you want to do it. And you could do your own picture of, of Easter, okay? So uh, this is basically what went on. And what we're going to do is the next session, well actually, what I want you to do is choose either glue or you're going to do the hot glue. Now if you choose glue, it takes a while to dry. It's going to take probably a day and a half. Um, I did the glue version, but I am going to show you both of them in the next video session. So this session, you really only need this or you need um, hot glue, okay? And then I'm going to show you a couple different options. So let me just pray for you guys as we reflect on what it is that we want to show for Easter. So, Father, we just come before you and we thank you for this amazing season that we find ourselves in. We thank you for your son. We thank you that he came and died on the cross for us and wanted us to be with him forever with you. And we just ask that you uh, open our eyes and our ears to hear and see you, especially in this season. Let us put our eyes on you and focus on what Jesus did for us. And let us have a grateful heart in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you guys, be blessed. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next session. Welcome back. Uh, I just want to show you dry completely, but it's dry to the touch. Uh, I had done this earlier. The one that I had showed you before was one that I did in Sharpie. This was the one I did in pencil so that you really can't see through it. Again, you could take this right here and you could either use Crayola, you could use tempera, you could use oil pastels, you could paint over the entire thing one color, you could do whatever you want. So I just want to encourage you to kind of make it your own. You could create any scene that you want that reminds you of Easter or anything and use this technique to show uh, just a different way of doing uh, art. Uh, the other idea is, let me just show you this real quick. This was one that was done with hot glue. And what you can do with this is the same thing. You can color over this with um, the different mediums. Uh, decide how it is that you want to do this. You can also cover this with uh, aluminum foil. And that's kind of what I did here. Uh, this one was done with regular glue. And then I started, I took a Q-tip like this and I gently pushed so that I could see all my lines like that. And then I started to color it in with Sharpie. And Sharpie is what you're gonna use with these. If you have Sharpies, would be great. Uh, if you just have regular Crayola markers, they probably will come off, which won't work. Um, so I would use Sharpies if you have those, okay? So I'm gonna show and post all the ideas afterwards and what it was that I used. But for this, uh, I am going to be using acrylic paint, which will stain, so you want to make sure that you keep your um, self clean. Okay, I have a water bucket and I have a paintbrush and some paper towels. Uh, I'm going to be mixing my colors. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to start with my, my jar, and I'm probably going to make that just plain, because back then they probably just had plain, plain jars. So I'm going to just take a little bit of white, and I'm going to make it, uh, and a little bit of brown make it kind of like a, well, really the same color uh, as the, so I'm just going to mix this in here. Oh, my, my paint's watered or got dry a little bit. I'm just going to quickly, not quickly, but I'm going to take my time. But I'm going to just move in here and paint. I'm going to get some more. My paint's dried out a little bit, so. You could also just mix right on there. This is kind of the same color as the cardboard, isn't it? But I want it to be painted. So I want to just make sure that I do actually use paint, okay? So I got some on the glue, and that's okay. I'm just gonna paint this in like this. Now I gotta decide what I'm gonna do for my bread because my bread, is probably, I don't want it to look too much like my jar, so I'll probably make that a little bit, I'll change the colors a little bit. I'm just gonna neatly color this 
in. And then just mix my colors right on there. Like that. It's, I'm kind of having a hard time because my paints have dried out. I'm outside, as you can hear, all the lawn equipment. It must be mow your grass day. But anyway. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Not too much white. Water it down. Try not to make it Put a little bit more water. Sorry about that. There we go. And there is my jar. Now what I could do is show that there's a light source, so I might even come over here and add this a little bit darker, so it looks like there's a shadow, right? There we go. And then a little bit of water to water it down, because again, my paints somehow have really dried out. Okay, so there's what we have so far. Now the bread, um, I'm going to just add, make it a lot lighter than the jar. My guess is that the bread was kind of a light tan. I guess it depends on what kind of bread. It might even have been like a flat bread, I'm sure. Is that I already added something, but you know what I could do? I could even add, go right over it because it's my project and I can make it how I want it to be. Okay. The uh, palms, I'm going to actually do a, I think I'm going to do a green background because um, they're palms. Uh, I actually don't have a green, so I'm going to mix my blue and my green and see what I come up with. This. That's a little bit too much blue. So what do we add? Do you guys remember? I should have asked you guys. We want to start with the lighter color first of the primaries. Because I'm mixing two primary colors to make a secondary color. And I, I'm just going to put this on there really fast. And then I'm going to go back. I should have done it the other way. And actually, you know what? I kind of like that even though you can't really see the leaves. That background there. Okay, now I'm going to add my yellow. I'm definitely going to add yellow and make it green. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just lost my sunshine. Right now it looks like a mess, doesn't it? There we go. There's my green. I should have gotten my green. I don't know why I didn't get green. Alright, I'm definitely going to go back and do that, something with that, because I'm not really keen on that yellow. Alright, then, for my night, when the moon hit, that was definitely, the moon would be white, that um, shadow that crossed over. Now this one, I'm just kind of going over the glue. Um, and I'm going to get it, make it lighter and lighter as I go, go out to show it was um, definitely a moon, kind of like instead of a sunbeam, a moonbeam. And I'm lifting the paint a little bit with my brush so that I could see that it actually gets lighter. And it was definitely, it was nighttime, so I'm going to actually do the black really careful to go around the cross, or not the cross, well the cross and the thorns that were stuck in Jesus' head. Um, anyways, I'm painting the 
this and just kind of thinking about everything you did for us. It's just, just amazing. Now, I kind of had my, it's kind of some of my scenes kind of move into each other. So as you could see, the, cro um, the three crosses at the bottom are also move into the thorn, the crown of thorns, so I have to just make some decisions how I wanted to show that, you guys see that, I mean do I want to make it, you know, on the actual, it says he died at, at noon, um, or do I want to do I want to do it differently? I'm not really sure. Um, I would like to, um, probably going to carry some, you know what, I need to decide what it is I want to do. I think I might work on this, this part right here. This is probably, you know, the wine um, that they had, the juice that we have sometimes. And so I'm going to just I think I'm going to try to paint these all a different color red just to create an interest. And I might then, I might bounce it over here like that. And I might bring it over here. And it says he, his blood was poured out for us. So I'm going to do that. And I might add some purple for some juice is purple, like grape juice. So I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna post the end result so that you guys can see it. But I just wanted to show you the different things that you can do. You can either do acrylic, you could do Sharpie and tin foil, or you could do um, just regular uh, cardboard and uh, hot glue and you could choose whatever it is you want to do. So you guys, um, be good to each other and be good to yourselves and um, just really focus on Jesus in this season. Okay? Miss you guys. All right. Take care.